All right, guys, what we gonna do? We're gonna take water that looks just like this. Muddy, 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 muddy. And we're gonna make us a system. What? To turn it into this. Good, clean, drinkable, potable water. By using all this stuff right here. A few pumps, and switches, handful of fittings, filters, UV light, some more filters, and the magic dust. And a 55 gallon drum. I'll get y'all a video step by step as I go. Thank you for watching. I got the Two spin down filters connected together with a union. The water's gonna come in first through at 100 micron. Then it's gonna go through the 50 micron. Then we're gonna go through the rest of the filter system. We need to get these bolts off of here. We take and remove this so we can screw our spin down filters into the inlet on, on this on the main filters deal. I'll be back. Got the two spin spin down filters installed, 100 micron, going into a 50 micron, coming into the main filter assembly. Right now I'm getting ready to cut me a hole in the back side of that bracket to mount my switches for my pumps. All right, got my hole cut out for my switches, drills and tap. I'll mount it up. I think I'm gonna come on the back side and put me some locking nuts just to make sure it doesn't vibrate its way out. Now we're gonna start making that lid, weld all this stuff up, make some brackets to hold this thing up in the air. The lid made, feet on top of the drum. Just gotta make the support brackets to hold the, the filters in place. We'll be back after that. All right, we got our lid made, support for our main filter system. Got the bolts pumped down, wired in, and piping. It's gonna come out of the pump here and gonna come into the filter system here.
top cut off, getting some of these fittings put in place. Got the circulation pump installed. What I'm using just a regular live well pump, 800 gallon hour. Now I'm installing the slush drain and the tank drain. All right, guys, quick little rundown on this thing. We're going to have this pump, which is going to pump the water from the bayou to the lake, canal, whatever. Come up the hose. It's going to fill up the barrel. And after the barrel is full, I'm going to drop in some aluminum sulfite. And then this pump right here is going to circulate the muddy water with the aluminum sulfite until it got a good mixture. Once it's mixed good, we we'll let it settle down. And then once it settles down, we we'll go open this valve. That's going to drain out all the mud and sludge that done went to the bottom of the tank. After all that's cleared up, we're going to come on and we'll turn this pump on, which is going to cycle the water out the bottom of the tank, through the line, through the first 
50 uh, micron spin down filter, then it will go to a magnesium filter, then it will go to a carbon filter. And out of the carbon filter, it will come down into the UV light system. And after it comes out to the UV light, it's going to go into our holding tank. Basically, what it's going to be is a simple little water treatment plant. Hopefully, it works. Chicken. Fill the drum up with some fresh water, put some red food coloring in it, test to see how well it, the system is going to mix everything. And after about 20 minutes of running, it looks like it's mixing really good. Inside the tank, this lime right here is going to be come from outside the filler tank. This is going to be the discharge on the circulation pump. The black one down there is going to be the intake for the circulation pump. This is going to be the dip tube to grab the samples and the drain of remaining mud at the bottom. And this is going to be the main discharge to go through all the filter system. We made it out to the lake with our water treatment plant there. We're now gonna hook it up tonight. We're gonna brought some extra water so we can cap off the water system that we have now. Because the test of water after we run it through the plant is gonna take 48 hours. So tomorrow morning we're gonna plumb it all in and start making us some fresh water. But for the time being, we're gonna cook us up some steaks on the barbecue pit. See y'all in the morning. All right, guys. Got our first little test batch going. We had everything mixed up, everything set on down for the last couple hours. We're going to see if we did any good or not. Oh, yeah, it looks like some mud coming through there. Slow it down a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna do a little bit more mixing, add a little bit more aluminum sulfite, let it settle down a little bit more. Pretty clear right there, but it could be a little bit better. We'll be back. Yeah, I've got the UV light on. About to, about to run us our first batch. Come on. Line up right here. Must be filling up. Make sure there's no trash in there. Looking like some good clean walk. Compared to where it come from. We're gonna fill that up. And we're gonna run it some tests on it. Check it out guys. Clean that water is. We're gonna fill this up. Then we're gonna run our test on all the contaminants and bacteria and all that stuff. The only thing with bacteria test take 48 hours so it's going to be a little while before we can use it to make sure I ain't looking to get sick. It looks pretty good. Alright guys. This part of the test all come out good. pH is good. The hardness is good. Everything is reading like it should. 